Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Hey guys, another episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's play. If you guys are excited, show some love, hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, so you don't miss out on our epic Pokemon content. Big shout outs to all the Plus members, of course, who have been throwing down on adrivelive.com. You guys can make an account for free and have a chance to win one of three Nintendo Switches and copies of Legends Arceus, so don't miss out on that. And Plus members have a slightly higher chance to win, so it's worth. We've got some really cool stuff to tackle today. I'm very excited to play. You can see, you can always tell when it's a new day for me because I'm wearing a shirt. Uh, last night I did a bunch of things. One, I uh, made a, a list of notes of all the Pokemon I'm missing so far, so I can start to kind of gather some of those. We got a lot, a lot of money here. And I was, I was actually, I spent some time very pensively thinking about that Manaphy quest that very clearly is a Manaphy quest. We just hit another star rank as well. Very clearly there's a Manaphy quest and I need to go do it. And I feel like I, I went back and looked, I was kind of going through kind of the notes and, and the footage and whatever else. And I realized I quickly wrote it off because I was like kind of being lazy, right? I, I read the story, the tale that was being told, and I feel like I'm just really dumb. I'm just really dumb. So I'm gonna read you guys as I go talk to Silene. The tale says this, once upon a time, and this is from BDSP by the way. Once upon a time in the East Sea, there was a Pokemon known as the Prince. A brave human asking a Pokemon living in the sea asked them to see the Prince. Mantike, Buizel, and a Quillfish with huge spikes acknowledged the human bravery and joined them. Together they set off in a boat over the Sunset Streak Sea, sailing through the ocean gates stretched over the waves. So when I read this the other day, it was, it was like yesterday actually when I recorded, but like four episodes ago or whatever. When I read it, I was like, there's no way I actually need I can use Gigaton Balls. What the heck is a Gigaton Ball? Gigaton Balls. All right, well, I need some Gigaton Balls then, whatever those are. Um, did she just give me some? What is a Gigaton Ball? I need Gigaton Balls, whatever those are. Um, so anyway, I, you know, I read this and I said, oh, there's no way I actually need to put a Weasel, a Mantike, and a Overquill on my team. There's just no way, right? Like, that sounds crazy. But then I was thinking about it more and I'm like, maybe that is what I need to do. And then I read it like a dozen times and I'm like, the ocean gate stretched over. The ocean gate, or the portal, right? And what does it say? The ocean gate stretched over the ways. Bro, I know exactly what that is. And I remember looking at it the first time and saying, what is this thing? Like, what, what is this even here for, right? So I think I know exactly what I need to do is what I'm getting at, right? Like, I think I know exactly what I need to do. I just have to do it. So I'm gonna box these two homies. I'm gonna go grab me a Buizel. Where are you, Buizel? And I feel like we're about to figure this out, is what I'm about to do. I need a Buizel and I need a Mantike. There's a Buizel, and then I need a Mantike, because we already have the, the Quillfish with the large spikes. I'm assuming it's it's Overquill and not Quillfish. And then I need a Mantike, which I'm pretty sure I caught at some point. There it is. Okay, so now I have the little friends here, and I think this is gonna work. Like, I really do. I think this is gonna work. So I'm going to the Coastlands, and we're gonna see if I can get a Manaphy. I'll see you guys there. Quick stop for a wisp, of course. That has got to be the gate, dude. I'm a believer and I'm heading over there and I'm curious if it'll open. Like, is it gonna open? I don't know. I'm really excited about what could happen right now. And I'm just, I'm just hopeful. I'm hopeful that I did this right. But first, another wisp. Okay, so nothing's happened yet. Is something gonna happen? Maybe I'm wrong, guys. Oh, you know what though? Hold on. It says, they set off in a boat over the Sunset Streak Sea. I feel like, like yo, I actually feel like it needs to be a sunset. I'm not even kidding, bro. I need, I'm targeted by a Pokemon, okay. I think it needs to be a sunset. I feel like it does. I'm gonna go try that now. Okay, this looks like a Sunset Streak Sea to me. So let's go find out if I did it right. Maybe? I guess. I was just about to say, I guess not! You heard something that sounded like a cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. A cry and a boulder shifting in the distance. What is the cry and the boulder? Oh, wasn't there a, um, I remember going through this cave, I think yesterday or the other day, and there was like the paintings on the wall. I wonder if that's where it is. I wonder if that moved. It's not here. But I remember seeing, like, going through a cave over here. 
and then uh, there was like the paintings on the wall and I wonder if those paintings move and that's where you get it. In here, in here, in here. This right here. I guess not, huh? I guess that's not it. Okay, so quick pit stop here. I gotta get a Luminion, so let's fight this thing. This is on my dex page here that I need to capture. So let's fight a Luminion real quick. Hey, we got Luminion. That's another page down. Like I said, I took notes of what I was missing because I want to continue to complete the decks. All right, back at it. Here's another cave. Could this be it? Wait, is this it? This might be it. I should probably get on Bastard Legion before I die. Where am I? I am in this cave right here. I wonder if this is it. Oh yeah, we enter it. Is this, this has gotta be it, dude. <gasps> it is. Manaphy! And Fionn's! I gotta catch him. Oh, I have to battle him, don't I? I gotta catch him. Can I just battle one? Okay, I'm battling him. It's a level 34 Fion. Okay, um, I gotta think Flamethrower won't KO. Okay, that's actually really good. Water Pulse, that's fine. I really wanna catch it. Okay, I'm gonna Flamethrower again and hope it doesn't KO. Okay, this is good. I probably should save actually before I do the next ones so I don't like throw this. But I think we are in a good spot. I mean, I don't know how hard this thing is gonna be to catch, but I really wanna catch a Fion right now and a Manaphy. Let's go! Fion is down, baby! Let's get it! Dude, that's huge. Okay, I'm definitely saving before I do anything else. Oh my God, they're attacking me. Wow, okay. I don't know where the Manaphy went. Is that the Manaphy? Oh, that is the Manaphy. Oh, they're attacking from all angles. Okay, I got in battle with it. Oh God, I'm battling all three at once. That's what I was trying to avoid, was this. Okay, I'm gonna flamethrower the Fion and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna try to catch multiple Fions. Zen headbutt. Uh, this is gonna be rough because I don't have my full team with me. Fion's looking around and Manaphy uses Moonblast. That hurts, okay. I get offensive drop. That's not a huge deal though. And then I get bubbled. That's okay too. Um, I really didn't want to fight all three at once. Okay, I'm gonna go for the flamethrower again into Fion, and then hopefully we can catch him on this next turn. That puts him pretty low. Man, if he's looking around. Acid armor, I don't care about that. Dude, I can't believe we found it. That's so cool. Like, what a shout, dude. Honestly, one of the coolest things I think I've seen in a Pokemon game. Like, so sick that they tied it to BDSP and the tail in that game which hinted at the Quillfish. I caught another Fion, which is dope. Like, that's so sick that they did that. Moonblast, I'm gonna have to heal, I think. And Water Pulse, I should live this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use a potion. Luckily for me, I have max potions nowadays. I should be good to catch them though. Like, at least the other Fion. I don't know about the Manaphy, but I can definitely catch the Fion, I think. This Manaphy just, I should probably do the Manaphy first though. Just because it's gonna be the harder one of the two. So it's level 50, okay. I'm gonna Iron Head then, which is still resisted. Eh, it doesn't really do anything. Um, I may need, yeah, I feel like Dragon Pulse won't KO. So risky though. I mean, I just had my offensive stats lowered. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse. I don't think it's gonna KO. Okay, good, good, good. That's actually like Iron Head range too. That's actually really clutch. I'll take a water pulse, it's fine. And I'm gonna go for the iron head now because I don't think that's gonna KO unless I crit. Okay, that's really good. I got him pretty low. Like, I don't know if that's too like low enough, but I think it's worth a try. I'm gonna max potion again and then I'm gonna try to catch him. Hey, we got the mana feet too, let's go! Yo, very hype. Now I just got one Fion left and that is that.
Let's get it. All right, last one here. If I can catch this man, I want to be a very happy guy. Three Fionns and a Manaphy. Put it in the books. What a way to start the day. I'm so glad that I went back. Like I said, I could not stop thinking about it. I'm like, I, I have to figure this out. And now we're going to report back to Lavinson and share what we found. Let's go, dude. And eh, might as well snag a wisp while I'm here. Okay, short detour. I do want to try Empoleon again since I wasn't able to catch him last time. And this is definitely a dex page that I need. So he's a tough one because he's level 69. But I'm going to try to beat this Empoleon. Yeah, he's going to just straight steal beat me. How much recoil does he take from that? A lot. Oh, yeah, half. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I'm gonna flamethrower, I guess. And try to catch this thing while I'm here. Double edge. He just, he has so much recoil. All right, we gotta start trying to catch him. Ah, it didn't work. All right, let's try again. Just need a little bit more recoil. This will probably get me there, the wave crash damage. And that's, I gotta catch him now. I have two more tries, basically. And then I need to go get some Pokeballs, dude, because I am very low. Got him. Let's go, baby. Empoleon down as well. I need a gold duck too, so hopefully I don't die to these gold ducks. I threw a heavy ball at that one, and I caught him. Sweet. Gold duck down as well. Oh, Piplup! Piplup! I didn't know Piplup was here. Okay. Gotta try to sneak up on this little guy and hope I don't fail. That should do it. Let's go. We got Piplup too. I still think one of these days I'm going to try to get an Alpha Motham. I might as well, right? With with how crazy my Motham luck has been. But I'll just get the XP and then I'm going to head back to Laventon. I see you caught our mysterious swimmer. So it was Manaphy all along. It seems Manaphy here is a migratory Pokemon, drifting to and fro across the seas since long ago. At least that's what it says in the sea's legend. I had a jolly hard time getting hold of this tomb. But it seems like it was worth it in the end. And we completed the sea's legend and we get some Comet Shards. That's some big money right there. I mean, look at that lineup that we just got. That's huge. Big dex pages. So this is the Gigaton Ball, the ultimate iteration of the Heavy Ball, a ball that is too heavy to fly high or far, but it's highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. All right, I guess I'll grab like three of those because I don't really use those a ton. And then I got to grab some of those. I need more Iron Chunks. I need more Apricorn. I need like everything. So your boys just got to keep, uh, keep farming, I guess. And I need a Skunk Tank on my deck. So let's see if that works. It didn't work, gosh darn it. Nope, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. You're not gonna stay in the ball, I gotta fight you. Okay. Hey, Skunk Tank down. And surprisingly, I still needed Crow Gunk too, but we got that done now. Couple more dex pages, we can evolve Shieldon into Bastiodon, and also grab Rampardos too. I threw them in my party to level up. Really trying to trim down this dex here, because that's, that's the name of the game, my friends. So we're gonna do that, and what'll be cool is at the end of this Let's Play, we'll have every single capture done. Um, and dex page completed because we, we kept them all in which is like I've never played a Pokemon game like this Which is crazy. It's actually been really fun um, I think I'm gonna keep grabbing a few more that we need here in this area I still need Hippo, Hippowdon, Yanmega, things like that. I don't know what I'll be able to find I know I need a Roselia too um, So we'll look around and we'll see what we can find but there's Rampardos Randomly Graveler Sometimes you just miss random ones man, and hopefully this will be our Roselia dex page Nope, it's gonna run away. Why you gotta be annoying like that? I'm just trying to catch an easy Roselia. Oh, there's a space-time distortion forming. I just noticed it. Wait, I had a pin there for last time, too. Well, that's exciting. And hopefully that'll be that dex page as well, as I'm gonna definitely head over there. He broke out again, dude. Why? There we go. Okay, we got Roselia finally. And here we go. Let's see what we got, man. I'm hoping for some good stuff. Uh, we've got all those. Although, do I have Float Soul? I actually don't have Float Soul, but we can catch Float Soul like way easier in another way. So, not super worried about getting him here. Something good over here. What is this, a Nugget? Another Porygon and a Float Soul. What is this, Comet Shard? XP Dawnstone, we take those. I think I've got a few of them, but not a bad pickup. Snorlax, Heracross. Oh, dude, a Snorlax. I've already got it though, so not too pressed for it. I guess I'll catch another Porygon, because why not? Side of the snag, an extra Eevee. I guess you can never have too many. 
There's another one, and a Heracross, and a Floatzel. Mm. Nothing too crazy yet. More Porygons. Heracross is cool, but again, I've already been able to catch him, so... Yeah, Luxray. Mm. Nothing too good in this one, man. Ooh, there's an Umbreon, but I already have one. I was very excited, but I've already got one. And Flareon, too. So you definitely want to keep running around, right? Like, you don't want to just say, okay, that's it, and walk away. I'm actually curious what the dex pages are for you. Um, I need to see it use Tackle, Number Caught. I guess I catch one more to get to five. That'll help me finish Porygon. And looks like that's it for that distortion. Uh, wasn't too bad. I wish it was a little bit better, but it wasn't terrible. I'm gonna go beat up this combi though, Vespaquen. Trying to scrap dog. All right, a little bit of uh, successful, you know, stuff here. We got some new Pokemon, got some space time stuff. I think I'm gonna actually go continue the story now and see what's good there. Since we caught Manaphy today, we got some new Dex data. We're doing pretty good. I think I've caught both hippos as well, which was a quest I needed to do. I still need to pound on, but let's head back to Jubilife. We'll go talk to the squad and then get things rocking. So it's pretty cool. The Clothier actually looks as you find various things. So I found the two Shelloses. I just found the two Hippos. And now she's going to change her clothes. So I'm going to check out the, uh, the lineup and see if there's any good clothes. She's got another one too. What else do you need? What other forms? Wormadam. Ah, I don't think I have all the Wormadams. I've beaten them, but I don't have them all. So I'm going to have to do that at some point. But we'll take a look at what you got. Oh my god, we can wear a suit now? Oh wow, this guy sells you XP candies. I honestly didn't even know that was a thing. That must have been something that pops up at a certain level. And my dude's got a Gentleman, a Rash Mint, and Bold Mint. I guess that's okay. I'll probably do another... Mm, I'll do a Mint Harvest again. Kind of stacking up on Mints to get better ones. 20,000 Poke Dollars, man, to get more space. This guy gets really, really expensive. I feel like it's worth though. Like getting to just keep stuff while you explore is so worth it. Commander Kamado, I have returned my friends. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation to why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a new world restored to, restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself with the wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps work is not done. and It is, does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon around us. So I think we're getting close. There's got to be some sort of a climax coming, right? Because we did all the frenzies. Now we need to get like to whatever this peak of the game is. And I don't know what that is, but we're headed there soon for sure. Thanks for the nice sizable helping of Potato Moki, Benny. Oh, and if there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave threat to rest. Now it's time we focus on our survey work, though we still can't let our guard down around regular Pokemon, of course. I certainly had my reservation as to what Avalug needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, yeah, someone might have been under attack if some frenzied noble Pokemon this very moment if A-Drive hadn't come falling out of the sky to us. I still wonder though, just what is this space-time rift anyway? And what will make it finally go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave A-Drive stranded here? I guess so. While our little team is certainly very proud at investigating things by now, We'll look into a matter and find a solution, I've got no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, eh, Drive? Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. That's right, we'll get it done. An A-Drive in the lead, and me as the Valiant Assistant. Assistant? Come now, Kari, don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I better guess I'd be eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. Something's gonna happen when we wake up. I can't imagine that this is it unless you complete the Pokedex. I feel like there's gotta be something. What is it though? We gotta figure out what the rift is. Like there's gotta be something. There it is, I was waiting for it. Bakum! Isn't it Kaboom? 
Bakum? Kaboom? Never heard Bakum before. Disaster looming. Yep, there it is. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Oh, whoa. Okay, then. Something's going down. A drive. Did it get bigger? It looks like it got bigger. Kamada, what's good, bro? What are you thinking? I didn't even know there was a roof, by the way. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in the space time. Now the entire sky's gone red. I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. I look pretty sad, I would say. Hmm, the way this guy has changed, it is ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of the nobles, didn't you? That can wait, there is a more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night that Adrive fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Adrive? A Survey Corps member? Indeed, you've done all I ordered, but that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the Rift, as did the Lightning. You're connected to those Frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust about quelling the, no the Frenzies you brought, your brought about yourself? And having gained our trust, then what? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest A-Drive has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think he'd got the sort of fearsome power it'd take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? This person, this stranger appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says he is? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's, no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Adrav supposed to do then? He will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the galaxy team. He remains a suspect unless he can clear his name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in A-Drive? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. But I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. This is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free, then clap you in chains. It's like witch hunting. You're to be expelled from the village? What, why? Orders are orders. Let's go. This way. Well, this isn't gonna bode very well for uh, my campaign to be mayor, that's for sure. <laughs> oh man, the sky looks pretty crazy though. Can it really be true? Oh, that's a nice touch. It's a slow walk. How could anyone do such a thing? I didn't, Mr. Picture Man, who I've never actually visited. I guess we should have expected this from a stranger in this guy. I've legit never talked to that guy before. This entire game, I'm, what, 13 episodes in, I've never talked to that guy? We could take it from here, ma'am. Ras, you're the dude! We talk about the, the outbreaks, remember me? Understood. Like, we've been cool, homie. The decision was mine to accept this stranger as the member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village into the field lands camp. I'll also see him off. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all down as bound for the field lands camp. Safe travels. This is intense. What do we do now? 
I'm like very, uh, this is the beautiful thing is like I said, I've, I've managed to record this obviously before the game comes out. I haven't seen story spoilers, so I have no idea what, what is happening next. I can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his own orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right, moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absolutely unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause A-Drive more pain if you are driven out for defending him. However, there are those who might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adaman or Arita would take you in. Though I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could try to find Leon. He'll be likely at the Grand Tree Arena. Don't die out there alone. That's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How you choose to view you is the choice only you can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared of you on Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? That dream simply won't come true without you. And now we need to seek out Leon. I wonder if there's anything different about the game. There's, a, of course, an Alpha Bidoof. Um, at this point, like, because of the sky. Like, are there gonna be more distortions? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wonder if there's anything that's of value for me to, like, more alphas, you know what I mean? I'm actually curious, but I guess we'll head over to Leon. And it looks like we made it to where Leon is hanging out, and we're actually gonna continue this on the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're gonna dive right into the thick of things next time. Hit that like button down below if you guys enjoyed this episode of Arceus. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our epic content. Big shouts to all the A-Drive Army Plus members. Thank you guys for throwing down at adrivelive.com. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.